Imagine your browser working for you. No more endless clicking, no more juggling tabs. Your digital life automated, powered by AI. That is what is Perplexity's Comet browser. All right, we have come a long way. We started with Microsoft Copilot, OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini. We also saw Manu's AI agent, Perplexity. And in our last video, we saw Dia, the agentic AI browser. But what if I tell you Perplexity's new browser called Comet is better than Dia? In this video, I'll be showing you some of the AI features of Comet browser and why people say that it is end of traditional browsing. Let's check it out. All the features that we saw in our previous video with respect to Dia browser, all those are already available in Comet, like summarizing your feed, summarizing your unread emails, asking questions related to the web page, chatting with the AI chatbot. All those are obviously there. But what I want to show you is agentic AI. By that, what I mean is Comet can take control over your browsing window and do stuff for you. Let's say you just open the assistant and you put a prompt that take over my browser and add a gym starter kit in my Amazon cart. You obviously need to have logged in to your Amazon account on the browser and that Comet will pick that information and use the prompt and add the gym starter kit or the product you're looking for in the cart. Similarly, you can ask it to book flights, book restaurants, book tickets or add, let's say, grocery stuff in your shopping cart. You can also see the real time happening of your browsing window. Here it is doing all its research. It will gather resources from websites, maybe user ratings, all the products that are related to gym starter kit on Amazon and add that in your cart. Let's see if it has already done that. If you go into my shopping cart, you can see that it has already added fitness set five in one for home. It will have its own reasons, but if you also filled in information about your credit card and all of the details, especially the payment details, it can even buy it for you, but that's risky. The whole point of this browser is to help user input natural commands, natural language prompts, and then let the AI or the agent do it for you. Another interesting thing is, let's say take over my browser and find me a good action movie for Friday night binge session. Let us see what it does. I'm hoping that it will take over my Netflix account because I've already logged into it. But let us see if we can do. Okay, it, 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 it does show that it is going into Netflix and there it is. You can see that it's telling that I need to select a profile. You can also check out, you open the page and there you see that is what it is actually doing. It goes into Netflix. It will search for action movies again based on what the reviews are it will do the short listing for you you can see that it is going through different action movies in the background if you want you can open the page and see it in real time and it has already started the movie as well so that is pretty interesting but yeah that's what it can do for you another interesting use case is of travel let's say you are on a trip and want to plan a walking tour but you don't have time or you're not in the mood in this case, you can ask the assistant to do it for you. You can ask is plan a walking tour using this map starting with Gravity. You can add that walking tour directly into Google Maps as well. And then it will pick up information of what is available in the browser window in the app. And there you can see that it has started taking control over your browser window. It will go through the places to visit, which are near Gravenstein, probably pick up the list, which are worth visiting, which are touristy, and then give that for you. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but that is what is the advantage of using agentic AI browser. That is what is the future. Hope you guys learned something new in this video. 
consider liking and subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye